A faithful, my people. I'm D. Douglas Carter, back on the scene doing my thing. And I just want to say I appreciate you and the work that you do. <clears throat> um, real quick, sometimes, uh, you know, I assume things and, and that's really not the way to go. Um, I rarely, if ever, ask you to like a video or subscribe to my channel or share. Um, <clears throat> but... <clears throat> I won't do that all the time, but right now, um, if you don't know how this works, if you subscribe to my channel, it's free, and uh, you'll get the notifications if you hit the notification bell whenever I do a video. Also, um, like one of my videos got like over 400 views, but not a not very many likes. So <clears throat> if you just take an extra second and just click that thumbs up, the like button. What it does is it helps bring my videos to the top of the algorithm when you search for things. So it helps my channel grow. It helps me get more views. And uh, I would appreciate that if any of my sus subscribers did that. <clears throat> Stuttering a little bit there, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, a lot of the videos I do are off the top of my head. So I might fumble a little bit on my speech while I'm getting my thoughts together. But um, I'm just a real person um bred and born in georgia and i'm all about our atlanta sports teams so yeah i would appreciate any subscribes i'm almost to 100 uh, subscriptions and i just started this a couple months ago so i appreciate everything y'all do and if y'all can like subscribe and share my video it'll help me uh get to the higher grounds of the algorithm that YouTube uses for uh, viewers. Um, like as far as what pops up when you search what, the more likes you get, the more subscribers you have, your videos kind of climb to the top of that. So <clears throat> anyway, with that being said, in this video, um, I'm trying to break down what I think our Atlanta Falcons starting defense could be. Um, Smitty sports machine if you like sports you might want to go check out his channel he covers a lot of the atlanta falcons he was telling me you know it might be a little too early to do something because the falcons are going to continue to make roster moves and uh you never know they could add another addition um in free agency and two of the spots that i think we're good at but we could get better at or there's a certain type of player that we may not have um the cornerback position, I mean, we have Sheffield and Oliver, and we drafted Darren Hall and some other undrafted free agents. <clears throat> uh, we got Moray, or Morayu, um, from Washington as a free agent uh, signing before the draft, but I'm not really sure who's going to start on the other side of A.J. Terrell. Also, a nose tackle. We have a good amount of depth on our defensive line, but I thought we would get like a huge nose tackle if Dean Pease is gonna run that 3-4. Like if y'all remember back in the day, Grady Jackson, like a beast of a man to just fill those gaps on the front line <clears throat> so our edges and linebackers can work. Um, but if it were up to me right now with the current roster that we have, if we're playing the 3-4, um, one of the biggest guys that we got is really Marlon Davidson and then Tyler Davidson. So maybe one of those could fill that nose tackle position in the three, four, and I would kick Grady to the outside on one side and let him work. And then um, maybe either Fowler on the other side or Kaminsky or Mariner. Um, it would really be, up to the you know the coaching staff to see who really could serve best at that edge but then if it's follower kaminsky and we switch it up um to a four three then i would probably have um marlon davidson and grady 
on the inside and then Fowler or Kaminsky or, or whoever they see fit. Uh, Mariner show flashes last year. Maybe have those guys on the outside edge. Um, but back to the 3-4, let's say it's Kaminsky, Marlon Davidson, and Grady Jarrett. Then your four linebackers, we know we're going to have Deion Jones and Foye Olakun, uh, Michael Walker, and then you either put like Fowler up there with them um, or Kaminsky, possibly whoever you see fit, whoever you want down or who, whoever you want as your fourth linebacker. Um, maybe the draft pick that we got, um, Ayo Ogundeji, uh, his first name's really hard to pronounce, so I'm not just gonna, I'm not even gonna try, um, but uh, <clears throat> Ogundeji might find himself a role in that uh, three, four defense as a linebacker as well. So, I mean, that's what I'm thinking on our defensive line as it's currently constructed or the players that we currently have. And then, <clears throat> you know, we got um, the DB group and, uh, as far as I could see, it'll be AJ Terrell, um, maybe Darren Hall blows people away and he comes in and starts on the other side. But if not, we have Sheffield, Oliver, or Moray, you or Moray. Um, and then I think Richie Grant is going to start at one of these safety positions. Uh, I probably see Harmon possibly starting or AJ Hawkins, um, but so you have some pieces to interchange there if you go to nickel or dime packages as well. So that's that's all I got on the uh, Falcons defensive side of the ball right now. Y'all let me know what you think about how I'm breaking that down and what you would do or, or maybe how you would do it in the 3-4 or 4-3 who you would put in. Then uh, another awesome YouTube content creator, Big Low Country. I was on a live stream with him the other day, uh, just chopping it up in the chat, and he had did a list of his top 10 quarterbacks, and he asked everybody maybe they could uh, give them their top 10 quarterbacks for this next upcoming season, so I just made a real quick list. I'll start at number 10 with Matthew Stafford. Um, he's with the Rams now, and I just think he's really going to thrive in that system, and I think he's a better quarterback than most people think. At number nine... I got Dak Prescott, um, not a Dallas Cowboy fan at all, but I think he probably would get that number nine spot in my list. Then number eight, I got Russell Wilson. Um, he's probably higher on a lot of other people's lists, but I don't know with all the stuff in the off season, I don't really see him having a great year this year. And then I got our quarterback, Matt Ryan, coming in at number seven. Uh, I think that'll be a good slot for him. Number six, I got Deshaun Watson um, because we don't really know if he's going to play uh, and all the off-field legal issues he's dealing with. You know, who really knows about that? But I put him at number six. I got Lamar Jackson at number five. Uh, I believe the Ravens will be back in the playoffs. I believe he'll have a good year this year. At number four, I got Josh Allen. Out of Buffalo, I just think uh, he could maybe be a little higher, but number four is pretty high. I think he's still on the up, so uh, Bill's probably be in the playoffs again this year. Uh, number three, Aaron Rodgers. We don't know where he's going to go, but I, I still think he has a, a lot of game left. Um, number two, I got Patrick Mahomes. Just for the simple fact, I mean, at number one, I got Tom Brady, and I know he's old, and but the Bucks they do have a, a lot of weapons, and the thing about Tom Brady whether you think he cheats or not or you know he's entitled or get a get a little extra love from the refs which is something I, I think you know uh he kind of makes his own fortune a little bit but he's the Super Bowl champ man he always finds a way to get it done so until somebody knocks him off or he retires he'll probably be number one on my list um anyway so that's what I got for my my top 10 quarterbacks this year 
Um, Justin Herbert, you know, we'll see what he does this year. If he shows out, he'll definitely jump into that top 10. Also, Kyle Murray, uh, we'll see what he does. He might could jump in that top 10 as well. I'm kind of going with more proven commodities at this point in time. Um, let's see, the Atlanta Hawks, they lost the other day to the Pacers. I think they got four games left. They're all at home. I see us getting to the playoffs, whether we can somehow get that four seed, we'll probably be that five seed. We just don't want to fall out of that number six seed. Um, they got a couple days off. They play next on Monday. They play the Wizards on Monday, I believe. The Braves uh, did a little good thing. They swept the Nationals uh, the first two games they played. They had back-to-back -back Grand Slams. Uh, the pitcher, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I'll have to get back with you all on that. But the pitcher hit a Grand Slam. And uh, then I think the next game, Ozuna hit a Grand Slam. And then yesterday, the Braves won 3-2. to two. So they're trying to get back to an even record. I think they're 15 and 16 on the year right now. Um, Atlanta United, they lost a couple of their last games. Uh, I know they lost to Philly, and then they tied Philly. And then, I mean, they lost to New England, I believe. Um, they got a game coming up, but they're kind of on the downslide right now. But it's no problem. We'll get back in there anyway. I just want to end the show by saying thank God works. And uh, also just want to let y'all know, like, I'm trying to do content on here um, that is clean and positive. Uh, it's mostly sports, maybe some music mixed in. But I know if you're grown and you have kids, you know, our kids are watching everything that we do and they want to be involved in what we do. So... I like to watch YouTube shows with my boys and, and show them highlights and things of that nature. So if you come to my channel, you subscribe to my channel. You won't have to worry about uh, anything that they can't see or hear on my channel. And that's not to knock any other content creator. Everybody has their own thing. Everybody stay in their own lane. And, you know, I'm just doing my thing. So also, I'm not going to like push my religious views or anything like that on anybody but i mean i thank god and i try to keep uh everything in a holy space so with that being said i think i already said thank god works because it does and uh i hope you have a blessed rest of your night or day one